Hello, my name is Sushima and many people had asked me to make a video on beet kvass. I not made it because it's so very simple to make beet kvass, but let me, let me go through the process. It's very, very simple. You take some beets, a few beets, and then you put, uh, fill a third of this mason jar with beets. So over here, I put in beet cubes and I'm gonna pull them out and show you, show what they look like. Um, they're just one inch or one centimeter cubes um, and they look like so. These are the beet cubes and you just put them in, in water, about a third of beets and two thirds water and leave it on the counter like so. And the water needs to be pretty pure. I use spring water, you can use the reverse osmosis water or any good quality water you got that's not chlorinated or fluoridated. Why is that? Because the beets are going to ferment in this jar and bacteria don't like chlorine and fluorine. And why don't bacteria like chlorine and fluorine? Because they are antibiotic. That's why we put them in the water. What are we trying to do? We're trying to encourage bacteria in this beverage, thereby encouraging bacteria in our body. The other thing I wanted to show you was this. Do you see that uh, gray stuff? Oh, you don't see it. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. Sorry about that, I think the phone rang. Uh, but anyhow, this is qualm, which is a very harmless fungus that you can stir back into your pot or toss out. So don't get freaked out by it, don't get scared by it. You will have underneath this wonderful, wonderful life elixir, which is very rich in a very powerful antidepressant called betaine. So betaine uh, improves your mood. Uh, there's a whole lot of other bacteria and ferments in this and after a few days to a few weeks you get this wonderful wonderful um, beverage which is slightly carbonated it's kind of sweet sour and it's very very therapeutic after you've had um, a big dose of antibiotics or chemo or radiation if you're if you you're undergoing cancer therapies there's nothing as wonderful as beet kvass. So I hope you line your kitchen counters with jars of beet kvass, jars of master tonic, jars of sauerkraut, and understand the incredible importance of microbes in your life. Microbes, 15% uh, of the instructions to your DNA go through your gut bacteria, and your gut should have about 1,400 varieties of bacteria and unlimited varieties of viruses and fungi, but our, our our guts are spent and these are the guys that have the DNA that complements our DNA. They live synergistically. There's more of them in our body than us and so these guys live synergistically in our body and do a lot of very, very helpful things for us. And they work with our immune system. Our immune system communicates signals to the bacteria and vice versa and we give epigenetic signals that help us cure massive loads of chronic disease that have occurred because we have become aseptic, we've become antiseptic, we've become sterile, we don't wanna ferment our foods or our meats or our vegetables anymore. So this is your recipe for beet kvass. Out of this, you'll get about three quarters of a half gallon of beet kvass. You can um, use this for a second round of kvass, it'll be a little bit weaker, and then the beets are spent you can compost them, you can throw them in your salad, whatever you want to do. But throughout pregnancy, throughout lactation, throughout a disease or the influenza or pneumonias that you get in winter, beet kvass needs to be your, your constant companion. And so I can't say enough about beet kvass. It's got betaine, it's got a whole bunch of lactobacilli. It tastes awesome. Uh, it will do great things for your mood um, and your digestion. And uh, what you want to do is use food as medicine. And this is one of those powerful and poorly understood foods uh, that can make a huge, huge difference in your life and health. So here's to your good health. Uh, leave me your methods for making beet kvass 
if you have different methods than, than mine. I just cover this up with the lid, put a towel on it and leave it on the counter with a little bit of sea salt in it. And you don't have to put sea salt or you can put in lots of salt, all up to you. And um, I get my ferment in about a week to six weeks even. They've gone as long as six weeks and they're pretty potent. Um, here's to your good health and I hope you make some beat kvass too. Thanks.